We're here at the new armadillo exhibit, and my friend Michelle is going to talk to us a little bit about these armored creatures. Michelle, how are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? Good, and I want to know a little bit more about these guys. Can you talk to me a little bit about the armadillo? I sure will. What we have here at Oatland Island, um, these are nine-banded armadillos. Okay. And they were originally native to Central and South America, and they have slowly worked their way up through Texas, all the way through Florida, Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, and as far away as Missouri and Nebraska and Kansas. Wow, do these guys just walk their way up or hitchhiked, or how'd they get up here? Probably a little bit of everything. Um, one of their neat adaptations is they're, they're pretty heavy creatures, mm -hmm. and they have a very high specific gravity so they're heavier than water so they sink to the bottom of water so actually they can walk across small streams and rivers and they can hold their breath for about six minutes wow. if that doesn't work if it's a really large body of water they actually can swallow air and that will help to inflate their intestines and their stomach and helps them to float while they're swimming that's pretty interesting these guys are a little versatile what how's the uh, how long did what's their lifespan like in the wild, four to five years would be pretty good. In captivity, they could probably live six to seven years. Okay. Um, they start having young by the time they're about one or one and a half years old. All right. Now, what kind of family does uh, the armadillo belong to? Or are they, uh, is it a mammal? I mean, obviously it is a mammal because it breathes. And talk to me a little bit about that. It is a mammal. Um, it, and it's a mammal, even though it's kind of difficult to tell. Would you like me to pick one oh, up and show awesome. you a little yeah. closer? Now, are these guys bite? Do they, are they a little aggressive? or? One neat thing about armadillos is they don't have teeth right up front. So they really can't bite. Let me get Mr. Rocky here. Rocky was brought in last year as um, a young armadillo. And uh, he is a mammal, and one way you can tell that he's a mammal is that he does have fur or okay. hair. And you can really see it on his belly, even though he's wiggling a little bit. He has a lot of fur. And he's also a mammal because he is warm-blooded, or mm -hmm. what's called endothermic, just like us. Okay. They can keep themselves warm, and they can cool themselves down a little bit. And that hair helps them with that as well. As far as their defenses, they do have some pretty powerful claws in the front and in the back. And those are made for defending themselves but also mainly for burrowing or digging. Okay. And that's one way they can defend themselves is to dig and get underground. Another is to run. They're pretty fast and they zigzag. So huh. if you've ever tried to chase one, they probably are going to win the race. And if that doesn't work, the third way they really try to get away is they wait for a predator to come up to them and then they'll jump straight up in the air about three or four feet. Wow. And that'll work for a lot of things, but it doesn't seem to work real well for cars. And so yeah. unfortunately, that's why people see them a lot on the road. Michelle, can you talk to me a little bit? I mean, are they only in the south? Do they go up north? I mean, I'm, I'm seeing the, the little map here and they seem southeast based. Uh, talk to me a little bit about where they like to hang out here in the, in the States. Well, they were, like I said, they were originally from Central and South America, and they've worked their way north, but there is going to be some limit to how far they can move north, and one of that has to do with their ability to keep themselves warm. Okay. And I'm just going to oh, put yeah. Houdini down. He's a little wiggly. Nice. Um, they do have hair, but you can see they don't have a lot of hair, especially on their back. Uh -huh. They have dermal plates instead, which helps to protect them, but it doesn't do a lot for keeping them warm. Gotcha. And so they'll need to live somewhere where they can keep warm or be able to dig in the soil deep enough to be out of colder temperatures. Okay. And so they are being found right now in Nebraska and Kansas, but in limited areas. Gotcha. Now, real quickly, can you tell me a little known fact that maybe a most common person doesn't know about the armadillo? One of, when um, I moved from Athens about five years ago, and one of the first things I learned about them when we first caught one up there is that they always have four identical young. Okay. They're pretty amazing. They are mammals, and um, after they mate, they can delay the um, implantation of the egg for up to three to four months. Wow. And then they will give birth after that to four identical males or four identical females. Oh, wow. So that's another reason why they're spreading so well. They're very adaptable, and when they have young, they have a lot of them, and they start breeding when and they're pretty young. That is pretty interesting stuff. Yeah. Stuff I didn't had no idea about the armadillo. Yeah. So, well, I want to thank you again for your time sure. and, uh, and allowing us to get a little bit more info. So, thank you.